Hey, what's up guys? So we're here at SEMA today at the Blackview booth taking a look at uh, some of the new products that they have. Uh, I'm here with Jeremy, who is the head of marketing for Blackview based in South Korea. Uh, and we've got a number of different dash cams as well as some accessories that we're going to be taking a look at here. Right. So for this year at SEMA, we have these uh, uh, two models prominently displayed. Yep. Uh, so we have the 4K model that we released this year. I love this one. Uh, the GR900 S2 channel. Yep. And this one here is our brand new uh, upcoming model for 2019. Uh -huh. uh, it's basically a GR750 S2 channel, but uh, instead of having to connect to the cloud with a external hotspot, uh -huh. you have everything in here. So it's gonna be LTE uh, compatible. Uh -huh. So you will be able to get a USIM card you know, from Verizon. Uh -huh and plug it into the dash cam and so you, you can connect directly to the cloud uh, through that, that camera. Perfect, yeah, so this is the DR750X. So X as instead of right, S. Right. So DR750X and it's basically a DR750S plus the LTE chip. Exactly. So you yeah. get all the cloud stuff without having to be tethered to a Wi-Fi hotspot in your car or at home or at work or something. This just kind of works everywhere, even if your car's turned off or whatever. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So you, you get all, basically all the, the cloud features, but directly integrated into the dash cam. Yeah, that's really nice. It's something that I've personally been looking for. Like, I like the cloud stuff, but I don't always find myself using the Wi-Fi. Just, I don't always have a Wi-Fi hotspot available. That, that's right. And we know that sometimes uh, people, even if they have the hotspot in the car, uh, they still need to power that hotspot sometimes. Right. The, the hotspot has usually a, a battery life, which is enough to, to cover you know parking mode in most situations but in some case you know the, the hotspot itself could be an issue right uh, if it runs out of power so yeah you gotta power so, the dash so cam now, and the hotspot uh, you just have to power the dash cam in parking mode and, and you're you're covered you know there you go yeah so I'm noticing the design of it looks different it's bigger we've got the DR750 S and then the DR750 X and it's a bigger dash cam now yeah uh, obviously to you know pack the LTE module inside of the dash cam uh, we had to redesign the case and also you, you can see the design has a lot of vent holes so that um, the you know ventilation is optimized and it doesn't overheat even with this extra heat added by the LTE module. That makes sense. So heat dissipation, does this function as a heat sink or anything as well? Or? Um, it, it's pretty much all these uh, vent holes, you, know, you, you can see both at the back and on, on the top. Uh -huh. uh, so that that's how it you know, gets ventilated. Okay. Yeah. And then it's got extra room, of course, for the LTE chip and then the antennas that right, you need for right, the LTE. Right. So you're going to be uh, pairing with uh, Verizon. Um, it's, so it's only going to be with Verizon, it's not with AT&T or any other providers? So. Uh, for the launch, at least, uh, we, we're gonna go with Verizon for the U.S. market. Uh -huh. uh, we actually have this ability to change the LTE module. So, uh, in, in fact, for the South East Asian market, we will have a different model uh -huh. that, that will uh, cover the carriers uh, in Southeast Asia. Okay. So, so it's possible that in the future, you know, uh, we can introduce an updated model or. Uh, a separate model that will uh, cover the other carriers. That makes sense. Yeah. So if this one is going to have its own kind of like a LTE connection, is it able to share that connection so other devices can connect? Uh, like? So no, this one will simply connect by itself. It's not going to be uh, usable as a hotspot for, for your okay. uh, for your own other devices. Uh, so it's just it's going to be like a phone just connecting by, by itself to, to the cloud. Yeah. Perfect, so it's pretty much gonna be a nice dash cam. I mean, DR750S, Sony Starva sensor, 1080p front and rear, exactly, yeah. good low light quality, good parking mode, good, right. yeah, good video quality, great features. Right, yeah, yeah. it's gonna have Plus a, LTE. Oh, pretty much, yeah, it's easy to sync that way, just a 750S 750 with, with the LTE. LTE yeah. yeah, so what about expected price point and availability for the dash cam? So obviously it's gonna be a higher price point than the 750S. Mm -hmm. Now, um, as to the, the price point compared to 900S, uh, it's not really decided yet. Okay. Uh, we, we're still working on, on, on the pricing. I would expect it's somewhere in between, but who knows. But, uh, so kind of in between 750 and 900 is right. kind of the guess? Yeah, that's my personal guess, so don't, you know, take yeah, we'll it see what with it a grain of at, salt. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then what about availability? When should people be able to buy them? So this model is planned for uh, the middle of 
2019, so May, June. Yeah. Okay, so May, June is kind of the estimated price. The, the or estimated, estimated uh, release date. date. Yeah. Okay. And then, so I guess it, one of the natural questions is we've got the DR900 sitting right next to it, which shoots in 4K, uh -huh. and this one is only 1080p. Is there going to be a 4K at some point version uh, of this? That's definitely something that we're thinking about. Um, now, uh, we, we're really focusing this model on the, the LG, you know, the, the cloud uh, connectivity. Um, so uh, that, that's why we, we went with uh, 1080p first. Uh, maybe in the future, we will uh, work on a 4K uh, version. Okay. Uh, but obviously, when you have 4K, there's a little bit more, you know, heat also going on, and the internals are a little bit different. So I'm not sure whether it's going to be the exact same design in 4K version, or if it will have to be redesigned from from the ground up. So yeah. that makes sense. Well, speaking of the heat dissipation, let's talk about that. Right. Um, with the uh, DR900, I know a number of people have reported overheating issues, and I've right. experienced it myself as well, to where uh -huh. the dash cam actually shuts off because right. it overheats. Um, maybe even more so than the DR750S, and so I'm wondering, uh -huh. kind of, what's the latest news with that? So, yeah, th that's something we, we keep an eye on constantly. Uh, we've been monitoring the the, the returns, the, the, the feedbacks uh, from uh, our distributors, uh, and the thing is, uh, we, we know that this issue uh, occurred uh, this year, uh, but uh, there hasn't been that many reports re recently. Uh -huh. And uh, e even though you know we, we have uh, lots of uh, customers in, in Australia where it's currently really hot. Yeah, even though it's getting cooler uh, right. here, it's still hotter yeah. there. Um, yeah. So um, also through uh, our firmware up updates, we had a look at th this issue uh -huh. and um, to make sure that uh, it, it doesn't give you false positive. You know where the uh -huh. The, um, the the heat um, warning would go a bit too too early, so th that that's something we've been tweaking uh, through uh, recent uh, updates. Okay, interesting. Have you kind of like maybe raised the voltage or the temperature thresholds, or what kind of adjustments uh, have you made? Yeah, I mean, uh, w when we started, we we went really really safe. Uh, I mean, maybe a little bit too safe, too we, safe we, yeah. which is why uh, we we had th these warnings. So we've been, you know. Uh, adjusting the, this uh, temperature uh, warning and, and cutoff uh, levels. Okay. Uh, in, in recent updates. Yeah. That's good. I mean, I love this dash cam. It's the one I run <laughs> in my car. It's my favorite one. But if it's shutting down, like it, it has to be reliable. Oh, so of it, course. It yeah. needs to be consistently recording. So I'm yeah, glad that you guys are. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're addressing that one. Mm -hmm. All right. So next, uh, you have a new uh, power accessory that you can use to power your dash cam while you're parked. I exactly. So this is called the Power Magic Easy. Easy because it's so easy to install. You know, uh, you know the people already know the Power Magic Pro, yep. uh, which is kind of a involved uh, installation. Yeah, you, know, you, have, you to have to hardwire it to the fuse box, mm -hmm. so you have to be quite knowledgeable about this kind of a yeah. uh, wiring. How big of a fuse uh, do you aspects. use? Yeah. Which wire do you go to? Yeah. How do you ground it? All that stuff. It's yeah. So yeah. The, th this one is probably not going away anytime soon, uh, yeah. but. However, uh, for people who just want to plug this uh, accessory into the OBD port uh -huh. uh, and power the dash cam, then we, we just came up with this accessory. Uh -huh. uh, so it, it will also monitor the, the voltage uh, from your battery and cut off uh, so that it doesn't drain your battery. Uh, you have a timer function as well. Uh, and so basically it's, it's the same functions as the PowerMagic Pro, but just a much easier uh, package. To, to install. Yeah. yeah, so people who want to uh, power the dash cams, like while you're parked, you need obviously power for your dash cam, and uh, they've got you know some dedicated battery packs. Uh, mm -hmm. This is what I use in my car, I love it, B124. Right. And right. if you want maybe a less expensive solution, there's you know powering it off of your car battery, mm -hmm. and this is what you've had before, the PowerMagic Pro, and now right. you've got the PowerMagic Easy, and it's nice. Yeah. It's Yeah, it's gonna be way easier to just boop, plug it in and done. Exactly, and so as I said, it has all the functions, including this uh, little switch for parking mode, so I love that. Uh, basically, if you are parked uh, for a long time uh, in a safe area, or you know, you just uh, park in your garage, you, you might not need the the parking mode, so you j can just uh, deactivate it uh, with this this button. Yeah. I like that feature because yeah, if you're in your garage, you don't need it necessarily recording and stuff. Right. Um, you could always unplug the dash cam, but it's really easy to forget that you unplugged it, and the next right. time you get back right. in the car, it, it's not there. So this it'll always record when you're driving and you have the ability to turn parked recording on and off. Yeah, and, and this, um, actually the, the this switch is just for parking mode, so you right. know, I, I, even if you forget to turn it 
uh, back on is still gonna work while you drive. You know? Yeah, even so. if it's turned off, the yeah. driving mode always works. Yeah, it's just parking mode which is off actually. That yeah. makes sense, yeah. And then I like that you still have all the same dip switches, so all the same controls and functionality yeah, as far so as I, timers I, I, and voltage Anybody familiar thresholds. with the parking, um, our Power Magic Pro will be, uh, you know, the same idea. at home. Yeah. yeah, and I like that you guys actually have the stickers now. Oh yeah, <laughs> that tell you like what all the dip switches mean. I've got an older one that has like different stickers. Oh and yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever I go out to my it, car, it, I'm always it, googling it, on my phone like, <laughs> what does this mean? And you, you probably got the really early version. <laughs> I got an older yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Mm. Cool. And so when is this going to be available, and what's the price point? Uh, so this one is actually coming this year, probably, actually by the end of the month. Oh, okay. Or like so it's coming out early soon. December. You know, it's going to be. Yeah, it's about to be released. Uh -huh. So there shouldn't be any surprise about this product. You know? That's good, yeah. yeah. What about uh, the price point? The uh, price point uh, has not been determined yet. Okay. But I, I would expect yeah. it to be a, maybe a little bit higher than CarMagic Pro, I'm not sure. Uh, uh -huh. But yeah, somewhere in there, definitely cheaper, much cheaper than any uh, oh. battery pack. We have yeah, these are like 300 bucks, so anyway, this is going to be right. way cheaper for sure. Right. I know this is usually maybe 25 to 30-ish. Yeah, about, that range. Uh, yeah, 26, uh, 25, yeah. Yeah, and this, even if it's a couple bucks more, I think for the convenience, for people who are maybe scared of doing the hard wire or you just yeah. want something simpler, I mean, plug it in and done, like, that's De awesome. Definitely, and uh, also the, the thing is, you know, people already have been commenting you know I, I posted this picture of the, this new product uh, uh, on the, and our Instagram people started to comment uh, yeah but I'm already using OBD yes um, so uh, we, we are looking into that of course but um, obviously now uh, that there are so many OBD uh, accessories uh, being yeah. available car monitor uh, savvy for the V1 car magic easy uh, like yeah. Because of that, you also have these, uh, you know, Y connectors. You know, yeah, the they have like splitters, splitters that you can use. Yeah. So um, I, I would expect that it, it would won't be a, a huge issue. We, we might actually even look into creating our own Y connector. Uh, that could be an idea just uh, to have one to, that to, to be sure that it, it matches the, the specs of this uh, product. Yeah. yeah. So that could be a good option if anybody's already using that. And I like that, uh, maybe I guess one of the last things, you guys have made this pretty small. I've used other OBD2 things that uh -huh. uh, they're kind of big, so when you stick it into your car, it sticks down into the footwell. Oh, so yeah. I've kicked it before, and I like this one, it's really small. Yeah, it's as small as possible. Yeah, yeah. and that's really nice. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Cool, well, thanks for showing us all the cool new stuff you're showing off here at SEMA. Well, you, you're welcome, Ariel, as yeah. always. As always, yeah, appreciate <laughs> Thank it. Thank you.